did you know that men are naturally attracted to women that have the reverse eye makeup on welcome back guys to another makeup video my name is Egwon Goodness in case you didn't know before in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create the beautiful reverse eye makeup so let's get to the video guys so I have gone ahead to do my brows ahead of this video because well of course not the eyes today not the brows and if you want a detailed tutorial on how I got these brows drawn, I have a video that I've done before. Check it out up here in the cards to know how I got this look. So before I start smoking anything, I'm going to go ahead to start cleaning the borders of my brows with my concealer. I'm going to be using my concealer and my brush to clean the borders of my eye, of my eyebrow, and then use the residue for my eyebrow to clean up my lids. So I'm going to be applying a translucent powder on my lids to avoid it from creasing. So this is my translucent powder here on my palm. I don't know if you can see it closely but I have with an eye so if I don't apply this almost immediately the lens are going to start showing yeah i know i'm making that face well it comes with the makeup So I had to like re-blend it to move those lines from my eye. So the next thing I'm going to make in use of my cello tape, my paper tape, whatever you want to use as a stencil so that I can get this natural cut eye extension. But before I place it on my eye, I apply but before I place it on my eye, I apply concealer underneath it so that it doesn't peel off the concealer foundation I've got there. So this is the layer I have cut. I'm going to be applying concealer behind it so when I put it on my eye, it doesn't peel out the foundation I've got in here. So as you can see, I put it directly to follow the line of my waterline, my tail line, whatever that line is called. So it's directly following the line. So I'm going to do exactly the same to this eye. How I'm looking right now, I'm going to go ahead to start the reverse smoky on the eye. To begin with this look, I'm going to be using my Jacqueline Murphy eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be going in this shade because this is the darkest shade. So I'm going to be using this shade to start blending my under eye. So now that I've gotten my eyeshadow, 
on the name my eye I'm going to be finishing up this look with my Elegirl gel eyeliner you can use your black eyeliner or any kind of eyeliner you like but I particularly like this gel eyeliner of mine I don't know if you can see well so I'm going to be using my Elegirl gel eyeliner to finish up the spaces I have my tear ducts and for this you need to have a very tiny detailed eyeliner brush I'm using the naked brush for this look So I've used my eyeliner to fill in the space I have between my eye and basically that space I have that the eyeshadow couldn't cover. So everything looks plain pretty black. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking off the stencil that I use that is my tape to bring it out and i'm going to show you guys the magic okay so i've taken out this eye and i just wanted to show you guys that okay it can be very painful because you're literally taking out tape from your face so you gotta like brace yourself up for the pain okay so i have taken it out so the next thing for me to do is to blend out the concealer i have down to my face so let's start blending so you can see i don't know if you can see it's giving me this very detailed sharp look so let me, let me blend everything out guys so guys this is how it looks like when all cleaned up when all blended up so i like my winger to be a bit thicker than that so i'm going to go ahead to make it a bit darker So that's it. So if I like, I can connect it to my upper lid. Okay, I just tried the first time I'm using this gel liner and it looks really amazing. It was gifted to me, but I guess it cost like four dollars or something.
so guys this is how we are looking and um, I'm gonna just go ahead to add my mascara and like this is a total go to look for when you want to act bad and like bougie at the same time and have this don't talk to me kind of look so this is the look for it guys so you can go ahead and add like a touch of eyeshadow to just blend up your whole look so i don't really like the concealer just sitting there so let me let me just go ahead and just apply some eyeshadow on top of it yes i'm going ahead to touch it up with a bit of eyeshadow and this is honestly how we are looking like guys i honestly like it so let me go ahead and finish the entire of my face so anyways guys this is the finished look and to be very honest i'm loving this look right now because given the time and how stressed i am this makeup actually turned out great i really really love this look i'm not even going to lie i'm not even going to lie at all so let me know what you think of this look do you think i slayed it or do you think it should have been longer or whatever but left to me this look is it so let me know what you think in the comment section do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like this look i don't know i can't just stop smiling if you like this look and do not forget to follow me on my socials if you're here to follow me i'm going to be leaving them somewhere that here here i can't still figure out which part of the video all these things pop up but either ways thank you guys for watching to this very end i love you guys so much and have a nice day